Hi guys, it's Barnaby from Spurred on outside. Wembley lost 1-0 to Leverkusen. I've got Adam from the Football Republic, Jack from Spurred on with me. I'm going to start with you, Adam. What did you make of it? Anything? Anything good from that at all? Not really. I think it's just disheartening. We only looked dangerous, what, eight minutes onwards, the Eric Dyer free kick. It took us so long to get going. Sloppy defensive mistakes. Second every 50-50 and then in the end, Lady Coulson, uh, Lady Coulson sort of nicked in there and got the, the winner. So very depressed. It makes me very nervous about Sunday. Yeah. They were better than us, simply, weren't they? The same way Monaco were better than us in their last game. Yeah, there's not any positives you can really take from that. I mean, I think Musa Sissoko is dreadful. <laughs> I think I, man of the match, I, I honestly he was dreadful tonight. Yeah. I mean, all of us were saying it, and yeah, God. he's certainly not a winger, is he? No, not at all. I don't, I don't know what he is. We were watching him in the game. Everything he did was wrong tonight, and yeah. it was just embarrassing, really. I would have had more fun staying at home and watching Watchdog. I think that's on a. I think that's on a Thursday night. I don't know. It certainly was in the nineties when I remember it. Um, Adam, you said you're not looking forward to Sunday. You're scared about it. Is there any way that Arsenal could be complacent on that day and we could suddenly rise from the ashes of this absolute pile of crap? I think the only hope we've got is, so Kane is potentially coming back on Sunday. I think that's the only hope we've got. We missed him so badly because, I mean, how long has it been since we scored from open play? We haven't scored from open play for six games now, I think. So I think if Kane's back, we might have a fighting chance, but the form's Arsenal on, you know, it's, uh, it's not looking good, unfortunately. And uh, let's not forget that before Kane got injured, a lot of people were asking for him to be rested. Well, they got what they wanted, didn't they? And let's see how it affects us. I was, I was happy that Janssen came on because at the start, it didn't yeah. look like Sun was going to really, yeah. you know, get any of the ball. And then it just looked like we lacked, a again, it looked like we lacked any creativity. It didn't look like we were going to get anywhere with the ball. Every time we went forward, other than really the like he was saying, the last sort of 10 minutes, yeah. it didn't look like we were going to do anything. It was just dreadful, embarrassing. Well. What is that? Was that the end? Carl Walker had a chance. Yeah, when he sort of bombed down. The, I think you saw it. You, you were there for that. When he bombed down the the touchline, sort of sort of half cross, half shot, sort of thing. But that was the only time we looked dangerous towards the end after the goal. So I just, I just hate coming here. Just like we're nervous. It's like watching England, and I can't stand watching England. And every time we come here, it's just absolutely. So, so seriously though, can that be coincidence that they they do look nervous of, of playing their natural game? Part of it's the atmosphere though, because it's so. Yeah. It's so big, it's so flat there compared yeah. to White Hart Lane where I was at Saturday, you know, it's just... I think that's partly our fault because their fans are incredible tonight. Yeah, and yeah. I'd, I'd, we said it with Dortmund as well last season, their fans are incredible when they come to White Hart Lane. Tonight, Leverkusen's fans were incredible as well. And we, we tried, but they were better than us as well. We need to yeah. get behind them. Yeah. And there's 85,000 of us, so like... Do we need to worry about playing every single home game in the league here next season? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Because because the away teams will uh, the away teams will have their day out as well. Yeah. Hard. Yeah. Uh, anyway, guys, let's know what you thought of these boys' comments here. I think they were very honest. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, YouTube, follow us on Twitter at Spell on TV. Well done, boys.